Hello YouTube and welcome to another unboxing experience review with me, Aust. Today we are taking a look at the Ryzen 7 2700X or 2700X or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just want to say first that we also have cats, so they will be part of this. And now more than ever it's important that you like, comment and subscribe because we just all love YouTube's new monetization policy. So if you want to help out, don't think that your subscription doesn't count. It really does, and I really appreciate it. And if you like 8-bit music, I do do that stuff, so I will have a link in the video description. And if you want to see overclocking with this thing and how it performs on an X370 motherboard, I will be covering that stuff in more videos, so subscribe for that. I will have voltage curves. Um, temperatures, yeah, all of uh, a lot of good stuff. So let's re get into it then. Uh, I will say that as with the last generation, you can already see what's inside the box um, without actually opening it. So that's not a lot of fun, but I guess they probably had good reason for that. Maybe they want to make sure that people know what they're actually buying. So, and I have armed myself with scissors this time so this should be a more smooth experience than it usually is but what should not be because that would be just my luck okay uh, scissors sharp nice scissors let's see if we got it uh, oh you did not there we go, I think, yes, yes indeed. So this processor, it does come with a beefy cooler, the Wraith Prism, I believe, and you open the box and it's nice and black on the inside. Um, and then we are taking this part out and it does seem, I will not be taking this part out now because I want to keep the processor clean for when I actually mount it, but as you can see, you get the actual processor, you get a sticker, very appreciated, and it comes in a nice black little box thing there. And then you have the cooler, which is the Wraith Prism, like I said, it's an RGB cooler, and that we can take a closer look at. Uh, it's already spinning, so what we have here, they do give you some thermal paste already pre-applied, but I will not be using this cooler, I will be using my AIO, uh, but you have your addressable RGB cable and your regular RGB cable as well as your fan connector, and then this is the type of model that doesn't screw in, you uh, snap it on, so you do need those plastic, those black plastic pieces on uh, your motherboard so if you have removed that from another cooler you're gonna need that but yeah uh, nice beefy fan with the AMD logo on it so it will go back in the box and I think that that actually I say and then it doesn't uh, there we go that actually concludes the unboxing experience review um, for the I should probably take this up so you can see um, and I will say uh, nice and simple uh, but you did see this part already before unboxing it so it's kind of like you buy the box and then you already have the unboxing experience right there so I will give it an 8 but there, there was no difficult parts to open no unpleasant surprises no overly reflective surfaces or anything like that but um so yeah, a, a solid 8, and like I said, do subscribe because I will have plenty fun with this little guy here, or girl, or undecided, or whatever it may be. So, 
there will be more videos coming. Make sure to subscribe for that. And uh, see you next time.